in my former career, I was a performer and that was fun. But I started to get into more directing and teaching singers and I found that uh, I was more fulfilled as a teacher. I, I just love seeing people grow. Having high expectations for your students and helping them meet that and helping them see their growth, I think that's, I mean, that's learning. So helping students see their growth and putting a plan in place to help them achieve that and having high expectations for them so that they feel like that we have confidence in them that they can achieve those high expectations. With choir, it's constant anal analyzing where they are and constant feedback. So that might be as a group, I might give that as a group that's struggling to perform, or it might be to an individual student. We have what's called vocal parts tests where we they sing into their cell phone or their uh, Chromebook and they record themselves singing their part, but they do it in the group context so they don't feel singled out. And then after they submit that to campus, I listen to every single one of them and I give them feedback on what they can do, what they're doing well first, but then also what they can do to improve. And then I follow that up with an assignment to, uh, for them to set goals based on that feedback. See the students here, they're collaborating together to learn. And I think that's something that can happen in not just performing arts, it can happen in other subjects where students help each other learn. When they're invested in each other, they're not an island unto themselves, but they're actually invested in each other and want their neighbor to succeed. There's just something magic that happens in learning that can help students reach beyond their what they think their potential is.